Christopher Piavlis here. I'm doing my um, firearm engraving class for part two for my drawing before I start getting to engraving. This is my left hand drawing. As you can see, not as good as my right hand because I started with my left hand. And this is my right hand drawing. I'm going to start with my right hand today and move over to my left. It's going to be the same patterns. And then I'm going to to report. I'm going to arrange another set of these sheets into a barrel-like shape and then I'm going to do the same designs on there and then I'm going to move on from there to doing to wood, plastic, and metal. Hopefully I can get all that in one video. Alrighty, let's start. Now I'm going to do the engraver's technique. Having a finger near the trip edge and having my Hand. Oh man, totally different. Throw it up I thought it would be. This is my right hand. These t the training I'm doing is what I used to do when I went to uh, art. To uh, eventually, there will be a time where you have to draw with both hands due to the arrangement of things. So we have to learn how to do it both hands. Hmm, do it. I don't know what's hand I start with, which doesn't get better. Okay. And I am ambidextrous, but I do prefer writing with my left hand mostly. Oh no, 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 you go my left hand. As I said, it depends on which hand I start with. The 
Yeah, let's give the other hand would do better. My right hand. My left hand. Next, I'm going to get two more and then I'm going to curve it in a odd angle and I'm going to do the same designs. Okay, so this one's going to be half. Yes, it's photo paper, so Let's put this one. Come on. Oh no, that's harder. This is harder because I have no engraved stand to hold it on where I put my full focus on both my hands to hold it to steady. As you see, the result is not that good because I'm holding with my hand usually. As mentioned in the class, you want to have both your hands free and the ability to put full focus on the work so you can engrave properly. And this technique that the class teaches is still going to be something that I need to learn, but it's something that I can learn. And here you go, next one. Maybe I can get it better. I gotta understand how it works. And I'm holding it better with my left. Yep, because I'm holding it better with my love. Like I, like I said in engraving class, usually you have to change angles. For straight line, you want to put a small notch to get, depending on what material you want, whether it be a chisel or a griever, you can scratch it up slowly, slowly, and then hit it with the hammer. After some time today, I'm going to use. Polish this, sand it down, get it good looking, and then I'm going to practice on the surface of this. And then I will move on to a metal and plastic. Thank you. Bye.